And welcome back to another episode. It has been a while, but I have been making good progress with collecting every item in the game. As you can see, there's a lot of chests here. So let's get right into it. So I'm fairly certain I've shown you this, but these are all the stone blocks um, that I've collected so far. All I've done so far is um, taken out of these sugar boxes what I already had, plus a few bits that were kind of easy to collect. Um, so this is all of the redstone. This chest is actually complete. Um, here we have, we're just waiting on the copper blocks and I need to actually go through and look at what unique items I have, like Heart of the Sea, um, things like that. Um, but that's going to go in there. Here we have all the ores. So obviously you can see we're missing some emerald ore, some diamond ore. Um, this is actually meant to be empty, these, this, the rest of this row. Um, I'm fairly certain I'm missing something there, but obviously we're missing uh, ancient debris. I have no netherite blocks as well, um, but there's no other ore for that. Um, but yeah, I'll just quickly scan through here. So we've got all of the wood types, plus all the different things you can make with wood, plus saplings and um, leaves. Uh, we've got concrete powder, sand, some dirt. This is going to be pods on mycelium. Um, rooted dirt, I think. Yeah, rooted dirt there. Nothing at the end there. Nothing on those three. Nothing on the bottom four. Uh, this is all the glass. Um, uh, crops are growing things. Mob drops. Uh, that's the same chest. And this is going to be animal loot. So we have got a lot here missing. Um... There is going to be all the different types of buckets. Um, yeah, there's loads here missing. We need to really get on that, really. Um, food. Uh, dyes and, um, you know, outdoory stuff like flowers, um, all the moss block things. Um, this chest is actually going to be, I think, the only chest to be completely full. Um, that chest, I cannot remember what was going in there. Um, we've got armor. So these are the three armor to get. Obviously, the iron really easy to get. Diamond, obviously, really easy to get because we've got our villager, um, breeder? No, not breeder. Iron farm. Villager trading hall. So get all the diamond gears. We just unenchanted some of that. Same with all the diamond tools. And we've obviously got the rest of the di uh, rest of the tools. And um, there's going to be a few things like trident and crossbow, I think, in here. Um, the, as you can see, we're, we're, we're missing things like the nether. I've not done any of the nether stuff yet. I need to do that. That's on a separate page on my may excel spreadsheet but i will get to that but what is this all for you know what it's for it's for the item well the item museum so that we're going to have an item museum with every block in the game we can definitely collect every block in the game but also we want every stackable item and um, that's why we've got two of every stackable item um so that we can use them as filters for our storage system and as it's been so long, I'm sure you're not surprised that I've also made progress with that as well. So, let's jump into a test world. But before we do, I just wanted to say, if you are new around here, don't forget to leave a like, hit subscribe, and let me know what you think of this video in the comments. There's a bit of a different one coming up, so do let me know what you think. Let me know if you want to see more content like this. And yeah, just give me your feedback, guys. I really, really want to hear what you guys are enjoying, not enjoying. Um, but yeah, definitely don't forget to subscribe. Turn the notification bell on and back over to you in the creative world, Nathan. And welcome to my test world. This is the small, small little bit of redstone that I've been uh, testing and playing around with to um, to get some of my projects done. So here you can see um, the kind of startings of a tree farm, um, which currently doesn't work. This is my... Um, Filter, no, smelter system, little bamboo farm, bamboo farm, honey farm that I'm kind of working on as well. Um, so you'll see a few things around it from different um, videos. But this is today's venture. So I recently, um, Majuma Games, brought out a video, a tutorial on how to build a item sorter. I thought, that is great. That is exactly what I want. But, of course, as per everything with Bedrock, it doesn't work on Bedrock. Um, so I built everything here. Um, pretty much all of this um, is what he built. Um, and I've set it all up correctly. I've done loads and loads of tests. 
and it basically didn't work correctly. There are a few issues which we can we can go through now quickly. So I'm just going to quickly explain how it vaguely works. So um, items are put into this chest. This is where you want your items to go in. Um, and when they go in, this hopper here will fire. So it's on a um, powered rail, as you can see, that's turned off at the moment. This will fire down, it's sitting in this block here, taking all of the a stack of items out. As you can see, it can only hold a stack. Um, it then will, once filled up, it um, basically just runs on a clock, and then eventually this um, powered rail will power. It then heads down this hopper line. And very important thing is that it takes, if we jump in here, as you can see, there's a hopper here. It takes one of the items it's collected um, from in here out and we'll send it up the top here. Um, and then basically <clears throat> that allows it to have a maximum of 63 items in. And along here we have the item filters. So it's basically looking for that item. So say you have um, 63 redstone coming along here. It is going to look in all of these chests and find, oh, okay, there's a redstone dust. It will then take that out, um, unpowering this comparator, um, which will power this comparator, um, because there'll be an item. Um, so yeah, it will unpower this this comparator, allowing this hopper to take items in. Um, and when it flows back down through, it will send a signal down to here, um, which will unpower this, because the dropper will send the item to the other dropper. Um, so yeah, basically it's just detecting when an item is picked up and then put back through into the chest. So it will always go back to the same location because all of these are full so, um, and also the hot, top holders are locked so they can't take in anything other than the column that it's uh, meant to be going towards. Um, <clears throat> once that's done, it comes along here and ignore this bit of uh, contraptionery here, I'll get onto that later. It basically comes down here and then jumps onto this powered rail here um, which turns off when it's landed on and the hopper line just goes along here um, looking for an unpowered hopper down here once it reaches that it will uh, take the items in and feed into the the chest down below here so that's the kind of the basic overview of the um the system and i can actually show you it so say let's have uh, 38 resident dust in here as you can see it heads down here collects a bunch of it and there's no there's two that's a, a timing issue but that's not a problem it as you see it unpowered that which means that that is now unpowered and all of these are going to light up looking for items so it's quite cool that it flashes on the one that, that it's filling up so you can always tell and then it's filling up here um and then once it's done it gets powered Sends back around, and because it still has some lines in, it's going again. But that I'm guessing will not work. Yeah, because it's taken the wrong, the wrong amount of items here. So that that probably won't work because that will be empty now. Let's just break that and break that loop. Um, so there there are a number of issues with this. As you see, it just broke on that first run. Um, it does technically work for one stack, and then it breaks. I have, I think, fixed these issues. So the first one being that it doesn't pick up items from down here. It'll take them in. Uh, it won't take them from this hopper. I think because it's powered um, from the other side there when in Java it wouldn't be powered technically. Um, I'm not sure. But basically, the way I've designed it over there, which I'll get onto, it doesn't power this hopper. So it allows things to be taken up. Also, note blocks are used in his tutorial um, and note blocks do not create um so the notebooks will be there and there they do not create a um observer change in bedrock for some reason i don't know why but if i um get that get that there um so if we just run a little bit of redstone around here we can see that if we tap this, it doesn't create an output on the observer, where in Java it does. Um, so that's another issue with this column here, um, but I've hopefully fixed all of that. Um, another key issue that I noticed is that if you have 
Um, in his video, he has these uh, rails one over, so there's no block here. It just goes um, from kind of the block, the glass block there would be there. Um, so it goes straight up onto the hopper. What I found is that um, the diagonal pieces were getting picked up by the bottom hopper um, somehow and basically just going into the chest when you're not meant to have them going in and it breaks it. Um, so just adding an extra row on there fixes that issue. Um, another issue is on bedrock, this, so this is looking for items in the hopper below, um, and then it will turn off the powered rail. Because the items come down here, and come onto here so quickly, the, the minecart comes so quickly, um, it basically bounces on, bounces off, before it has a chance to realise that there's items in here. So I create a little detector rail system, basically to just turn this off before it gets to it. So, um, so yeah, it just unpowers before it gets to this um, session, and then it will. This will just time out, and um, it will then realise there's items in the hopper below, so the normal system can work. Um, it also has a um, a kind of filter for um, non-stackable items as well, which is handy. It's really good. Um, so if you do chuck something in there accidentally, it's not the end of the world. Also, what else do we have here? We have... Um, oh yes, this. So, when we come around here, if once it's unloaded all the items and shoots off back around here, it needs to re-pick up the same configuration. So it had... Um, one, two, three, four. Ideal. So this is the, the original configuration. You need this first block. Um, empty and then the four shears and that will allow it to pick up the right thing and to empty the right thing when going around the whole system um, and that's what it needs to be reset to when you're doing this bit here it empties the entire minecart and all the shears go back down into here um, and the hot being a hot and minecart it roll it should roll under here um, pick up so the correct configuration for in here should be um, that there so it should pick up the wood block, shears, um, four shears, and then as it rolls over this hopper, it should take out the wood block and leave this configuration. In theory, um, that does not happen. As you saw the first time, it was kind of broken, and that's why we have the wrong we had the wrong configuration in here and in here. Um, so I have redesigned some of this. So. Um, first off, I added that um, detector rail to stop the, uh, the minecart rolling away before it unloaded all the items. That's good. That works fine flawlessly. All of it works flawlessly, individually, that is. So we have, I'm yet to put this together, but we'll get onto that in a moment. So, as you can see here, we have four shears. So let's just get rid of that. That's the configuration we want, we want four shears. And if we pop that in there and then four shears so how this system works is this is the same hopper here as that one down there so that system works exactly the same in terms of i'm going to build this here which will take out the shears and separate them into this chest here um the slight difference is that um the one wood block is taken out slightly differently so how it works is if we turn this off, you've got an empty hop and minecart here. What that is the same as what will be up there, so the shears will come out and um, it will reset to this configuration in this hopper. Um, so what will happen is this will get powered, it will come down here and it will fill up. And once that's filled up, it will shoot along and take out one wood. Um, so this hopper took out one wood, and as you heard, it shot it back up into this hopper, and there was already a wood in the system, there must have been, but yeah, it shot up into this hopper so that we can uh, we can have one wood ready for the next go around. Um, and then as, as you know, once it um, comes around, it will empty all the shears back into to this hopper line here, just as before. So it will always come back to this configuration, which is exactly what we want. That was one of the key issues initially um another issue which i found was this section here this section is fairly complicated it is a large section of it um but basically this is where the hopper minecart sits um 
and it will shoot down here once it uh, realizes something's in the chest. Um, basically, this comparator looks through this block of this chest. It will then power this block, which power switches this um, trapdoor, which you're now going to see. But it will happen. Yep. Um, which powers this redstone line, which powers this. And then because of that redstone dust under there, this basically gets uh, inverted so that this um, decay circuit will stay on for a little while, allow all the, the items to be taken, and then um, switch off again. So as you can see, if I put something in here, it will set off this decay system, allowing it, and then once it's decayed, um, gone, uh, it will shoot off the minecart because that powered rail will be powered. The other kind of half to this is the the one item getting collected and put back in the system. So um, it will just run over this and this will only ever take out one item. We've tested it loads again. Um, and it is then once that item is collected, it's put into this dropper because that hopper is not locked. This comparator looks at that dropper. If there's an item in it, it will power this decay circuit again, powering this piston, which will basically um, turn on this really fast clock um to transport the item up so just check they've got nothing in there at the moment um so if i chuck um a note block in here as you can see that's powered and then all three of those redstone um dust are powered which is enough to power all of the droppers in this column and then as you can see the note block gets to the top um and then when we're coming back so i'll show you on this one over here because i have not built this when we're coming back, this hopper will um, feed um, the item back into the chest, ready to be unloaded. Um, so the, the item that's taken out will always be the same as the one that we're filtering. So that is not a problem, um, which is, again, ideal. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to build this, this, and the bulk of this um, with my modifications here and here. And basically see if it works see if i've created an absolutely insane storage system um in bedrock which would be absolutely amazing it's something where you've, where you've basically been needing for such a long time oh actually before i go as you can see here the system's not running there's no minecart going around and this hopper is still unlocked so down here um we when the hopper obviously to get another item in, um, we'll have to run through this circuit again. Um, and down here, we have a detector rail. So if another hopper uh, minecart comes through, this detector rail active, activated, which powers this entire redstone line, which powers these blocks, which powers these droppers to send all of the items from these droppers back up into these droppers, um, which will then, as you can see, so this top dropper has one and this one doesn't. So if we quickly go ahead and power this redstone line, as you can see, we heard the dropper and that's now back in the top. So that's how it resets each time, um, which works absolutely fine. So this is what it looks like completely built with the bedrock modifications in place. As you can see, it is complicated, but Hopefully my explanations earlier about the individual pieces kind of explains it, um, along with my kind of explanation of that. But um, one thing I didn't didn't mention is why I want to build this is because it can hold a lot of different items. So we can take out one of these, put in one of these, and we'll take out one of those and put in one of those. So um, yeah, we basically every time we want to want to filter an item to this row we just come in here and take out one uh named um changed block uh, so we've changed this oak wood plank to one um just so that any oak wood planks won't stack with any of these because all of these are changed to one um so we can't the only thing we can't filter in this is non-stack of items and um items wood oak wood planks with uh with the name one basically so we've got to make sure that none of them get inside the system. But um, I'm just going to chuck a few different... So we've got ink um, ink and XP bottles in that one. 
we've got crying obsidian in this one and iron in this one now head down to the end and we'll chuck redstone in here and then we'll have three in here and one in here cool so as all of these are stackable items all of these should be ready to um to be sorted so as you can see we've got the setup there ready to go so if we just chuck all of these in here it should start taking them out and let's have a look what happens here okay so it should be filling up this one here with xp bottles so that's and it's is it already running again where's the minecart where's the minecart ah it's unloading of course it is yeah so it's going to unload all the shears and then they are going to come down into this here it's going to put them back in um, with the correct configuration again and then it's going to take the last of the xp bottles That is interesting. Let me work out what's going on there. Okay then guys, so I figured out what was wrong. That is not a problem. It was just um, this two pieces of resting here um, and I just kind of added these repeaters in to power this rail without interfering with those two pieces of resting. So let's chuck the items back in here and now it should, in theory, run continuously. So it's picked up all the XP bottles and just check there's nothing in there no nope, idea and it's dropping them all off We're along with the shears I just want to make sure that all the shears as they always do just want to make sure that they get they get set up correctly that gets brought back in there and we've got a continuous loop and that gets sent back into there oh Ah, that's so good, that's so good, that's so good. We have a fully functioning, fully functioning sorting system. It's absolutely amazing. It works flawlessly on Minecraft bedrock. What a day, what a day. How exciting is this, guys? It is so cool how it works like this. Let's just fill up the rest of the redstone. Um, maybe one flaw is that it doesn't carry a whole stack. But maybe we can look into the feet look into that in the future just uh, extend this clock somehow um i'm not going to do it now just because it's running absolutely flawlessly and let's send it back as you can see let's open this up it gets the correct shear configuration every single time uh, because this system is just it's just unbreakable basically if Unlike the the other one that um, that was created before, it, it it doesn't break. It doesn't. There's no kind of time-based thing. It's just. It's just Okay there guys, that is it completely uh, run now. So we should have in here 64 XP bottles, 64 crying obsidian, 64 iron, and just check all of these. Don't know about these ones, but in here we have 64 honey, 64 redstone, 
And I believe there should be some more ink sacks. And what about diamonds and scaffolding? Where did that go? Hmm. Let me find where that's gone, guys. Okay then, guys, after some vigorous testing, I've solved it, and it is this hopper not picking up um, items from the hopper minecart, put them back in the filter, um, is what is breaking it. Um, it's not to do with the detector rail, I've taken the detector rail off, and it still happens. Um, and I tried to do a little swirl to slow down the... Um, the speed of the minecart so it goes a bit slower over the hopper but no it doesn't work either so i think we're just gonna have to cut that slice out when we build it on our actual world and um and either use that for just storage or just have as a block an end block um so we, do, we don't have to put chests in it nothing uh, is going to go in it unless we want to put stuff specifically in it but as you can see i've added the three um three filters onto the the second column here and this was absolutely fine so we've got diamond honey and redstone and we currently have redstone and honey and we should get diamonds now yeah nice so yeah the rest of it works perfectly fine i've done a lot of testing with it and it is all good so um the only thing left to do now is to build it in our actual world but we're not going to do that today that is a mammoth job, collecting all of these resources is going to be absolutely insane the amount of resources. So I'm definitely going to leave that um, probably in between episodes, maybe I might start getting it ready. Um, but also, we don't want just one wall, we want three. So it will be even more resources, even more item filters, and uh, yeah, it's going to be insane. It's going to be insane. But we shall see how that goes when we get to it. But before I go, guys, I just wanted to say a big shout out to Mizuma Games um, for creating this absolutely epic design in um, Java edition of Be uh, Minecraft. Um, I've merely adapted it to Bedrock. Um, and also shout out to Exumavoid, who has created this on the Hermitcraft server, which looks absolutely epic, or is creating currently, I do believe, which is absolutely epic. Um, and that is where I actually saw the link to Mizuma Games to see this design. So, um, yeah, let me know if you do want a tutorial on this, guys. I'm more than happy to do a tutorial on this. I don't want to steal from Mizuma's uh, limelight, so if you um, if you can't work it out from um, his video um, or this one, let me know, um, and I'll do a separate tutorial on how to build this in Bedrock Edition and all the adaptations you need for it. Um, but... It has been a wonderful episode, guys. I can't wait to build this in our real world. Um, but that will be it for today. Cheers. Peace out. Bye.